Timothy Vernell has owned this property along the St. Jude Highway in Viefort for more than 20 years and saw nothing out of the ordinary about what seemed to be a chipped rock in the yard. In fact, he thought it a nuisance and considered ripping it from the ground and disposing of it. That is, until recently, when he looked at the rock from an elevation on the veranda of the first floor of his home. Lo and behold, there was an image of a face carved into the rock. Initially, it took some convincing for him to satisfy himself that it was not some sort of optical illusion. I've been living there since 1994. And I've been constructing that house since. since. And... That story I bring up is I find out in 2000, um, 2016 when I come from America, that's the day I realize on that stone had a face. Vernal could hardly contain his excitement and called on others to see what they made of the possible piece of art of historic significance out in his yard. So afterward, I call on my friend to make sure if it's a real thing. So. As Curtis came there, she to, he told me, we have to look at and call you and to see if, that, if this is a real thing. But I believe down there, around here had Indians before. So now it's time for us to put it on the market or show the world we had a history behind my back of my house. Some, somebody that's more knowledgeable to come and see. Curtis James is a tenant of the property who was shown the carved image. He is also excited about experts examining the find. I've been going up and down through that back door and I never realized that that thing was on the stone. It was when he pointed out to me, I, I, you know, I stood back and I really looked at it. And I said, yes, you know, because if I'm walking there every day, every morning, every afternoon, and I'm not seeing it, it tells me one who not know it is there unless if you look for it. But then seeing it now tells me that there's probably something historic to it because I, I, I don't see it as somebody who, who um, engraved that on a stone, like, see, like, a, like, a, like a hobby or something. That's something that has been ingrained in that stone for years. So I hope that the, uh, the archaeological society will come or somebody to authenticate that stone. Previous civilizations that have occupied this land that we now call St. Lucia left precious few bits of physical evidence behind before they were effectively wiped out by the marauding Europeans who later introduced Africans as slaves and then East Indians from the Asian subcontinent to replace them on the plantations as indentured laborers. There are samples of their pottery and stone implements, as well as the petroglyphs, most notably at Soufre and Dauphé, to remind us of them. If this find along the St. Jude Highway in Viefort is confirmed to be Amerindian art, then it will add to the few priceless pieces of the people who call this land home hundreds of years before the all-conquering Europeans set foot on this island. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.